Hi everyone, it's Buster from Dog Days, and I'm going to teach you how to make a manet. This is a tutorial how to find stock images on DeviantArt, Flickr, and Wikimedia Commons. And how I will also show you how to make a manet. So, I'm on DeviantArt, right? Right there. Yep. And then you go down to resources and stock images. You click on it. And then you come to this page and you go down again and go to stock images. And then you go to nature and then landscape and then you type in whatever you would like and for me I am looking for field with trees right right there Filled with trees. And then I search it. Hopefully it will come up with something. Hmm. And we look for something that will be good. Like this. This is a beautiful picture. But we need to make sure that it's usable. And if the user that downloaded it wants us to do anything with it. says, please remember to credit me and send me a link to any finished work. Thank you. Other than the above, please feel free to download this and use it however you like. So, it is usable. And we have to credit them. So, I right click, save image, and then... Usually it'll come up to be a whole bunch of letters and then the user's name that downloaded it. And then I want to only save it as with the user's name that downloaded it. So you can use it as credits later. And then you save it to your computer and so we have the background now for textures we go to resources and stock images again and then go down and there should be one that says textures right and then usually I try to find something that would be good with the um, they their good uh, it would look good and it has actually it will show up when I change the modes on it nope let's exit this one out okay let's try abstract I don't abstract no sometimes I go with fabric to look at the pretty fra fabrics. Oh, I can't talk today. Um, let's try. Come on, computer, hurry up! I'm trying to do something here. Um, let's try this one. I'm going to try this one. And again, we have to go down to see if it's anything that we have to do. Nope. So we right click save as with the person's name. And then ta da! That's how you find stock images. Usually I just only find the backgrounds and the textures on DA. 
And then for Wikimedia, which I'm going to right now, you go to wikimedia.org usually. It will open it, but I have it saved, so I don't have to. Okay, so we're on Wikimedia Commons, and then we go over to this search box right here. Right there. And then we just type in what we would like. What breeds we would like to put on the manip. So this person wants a beagle and a Belgian Malinois. So I type in beagle. And it usually comes up under right there as an option. And then usually when I look for pictures, pictures, I want to look for a dog that is sitting or laying down and it the camera is a level with its eyes or sometimes standing like this right, right there and the dog is looking at the camera sometimes it might be looking away but that's only exceptional in some pictures like this one I like this picture so I'm going to click on it but it's too small if it's this small then uh, don't use it because uh, when you blow it up it's going to look ugly so we're going to keep on looking for a good usable picture. This one would be good. This one, I guess. Yep, this one's big, so this one will be usable. So we go down, and usually there's an author right here. Right here. And then you copy the name that's next to it. And then you right click on the picture, save that image, and then paste the name that you copied into the file name and save it. That's for Wikimedia. You don't have to do anything special. And now we will go to Flickr, usually just Flickr.com. And we, I can sign in because I have an account. So I'll sign in with my Facebook. You can sign in with a Yahoo or a Facebook, which I usually just do a Facebook. And let's wait until it loads. And now we go over to this search box over here, right, right there. Do you see that? And then we click search. And then we go over here to this search box, and the thing that says advanced search right next to it, we click it. This is so you don't get in trouble for using a non-creative commons um, pictures. And you go down, when you get to the advanced search page, you click only photos on search by media type. And then you keep on going down until you see Creative Commons CC. And you click the first box and the third box right there. And then you click Search. And then now we, we are able to um, search what breed we want. And for this manip, I need a Belgian. Malin Wa. Hopefully I spelt that right. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm a very good speller. And again, I'm looking for a dog that's camera is at eye level. It's a full body. It's sitting or laying down or sometimes standing. Like this one this one and we look at it it looks pretty good but I don't really like it it's not very pretty so I'm not going to use it you might want to use it if you ever get manip orders with Belgian Malinois but I usually look look through some pictures before choosing one sometimes there's not a lot of them so you have to usually go with the best one you can find Let's see. Let's check out this one. That 
one's pretty good, but I don't like the way the dog is sitting. It's kind of like awkward positioning, so I'm not going to use it. See, this takes a long process. Making manips is a long process. You have to, you know, there's lots of steps that you have to go through. And I think I'll go with this one, maybe. I'm not totally sure. Even though it's not looking at the camera, it's perfect eye level and position of the camera, and the dog is paying attention to something, even though you might not like it. And it's not even a Belgian Malinois purebred, so I would not use it. And it's kind of blurry. You might not see that from my stupid little camera, but um, I can definitely see it. Do, 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 do. Here's some. Maybe that might be good. That looks like a good picture. So, I like it. So, I'm going to use one of them. I'm going to go over here, right here, where it says buy and then a name. I'm going to copy that name. Copy. And then I'm going to right click on the picture and go to view all sizes medium 500 okay and then it'll take you to this page and you're gonna go right click save image and then paste that name that you copied earlier so we've got all of the pictures that we're going to use and we're going to go to GIMP and go to file up there file up here and then new and the dimensions I use are 500 for the width and 432 for the height okay and now we come with this we come with a new mana page right so now we go to file and then open and we go to where we save the images and we usually want to open the background that we that we saved so we go to the background and now we go to the image t image tab up there right and then we go all the way down to scale image and then we only change the height to 432 no don't change the width because it will change on its own and so we got this image so now we right click go down to edit and then cut and then go to your manip your white manip page and go right click on the image and then paste as not paste paste as and then go to new layer Ta-da! now we go to the toolbox over here or it might be over here depending on what your computer is and then we go to this little tool I know it's very hard to see it's called the scale tool right and then we click that and then we click on the image and go all the way over to this thing over here on the image and bring it over until the width goes to 500 in this box. Okay? Oh boy. Now, you click scale. See? And the reason that we scale the image before we put it onto the manip, so it doesn't get blurry if you blow it up. If it's too small, you blow it up, it's going to get blurry. But if it's too big and then you go down, it's probably going to get a little bit blurry as well. So, I know my camera is kind of weird, but I'm running out of time here. So I'm going to go to the colors tab up here. And go to the first one, first um, first option, and then this is just to make the background look more of the colors that you want it to. So I usually go for more red, 
and you just do the only th last three right here, right? Okay, and you just move it until you'll see, like what you see, and then... I like that, so I'm going to leave it and press OK. Don't change anything else except for the last three scrolly things. I'm not sure what to call them. And then you go to the Colors tab again, up there, and press the second option. And then you only change the last three again. Don't change anything else. Don't mess with anything or else it will look weird. And you change it until you see what you like. I like that and that. Now I'm going to go to the colors tab again and brightness contrast which is the fourth option and I'll, I'm going to change contrast first not brightness and I'll change it and then brightness. See how it looks pretty cool? Now it looks cool? Okay. And now we're going to go, you can close the background um, window if you want. It's just taking up more space that you don't need. And now you go to File, again, and Open. And you're going to open your, uh, your texture that you downloaded. Now... You go to the image tab again. We're going to do what we just did with the the uh the background and we're going to scale it only height to 432. Again, 432 only height no, not width. And then see it scales down to what you need it and then cut. And then you go to the manip and you paste as, not paste, again, not paste, paste as, new layer. And then we're going to go to the toolbox again and scale it until the width is 500. Five hundred. Okay, and see that now. We're going to go over here to the layers, right here. And we're going to go up here to where it says mode, above opacity. And we're going to change it until we see what, what, until we like what we see. And I kind of like this, but it's not, not as what I would like it to be. And I'm going to keep on changing the mode until I see something that I really like. So I like this, so I'm going to bring the opacity down. Okay, so we don't see it as much as we should. We should not see it like this. We should see it down and not see it as much as like this. So we're going to bring it down kind of like this. And then there. Now we are going to open at the file tab and we are going to open the the dog one of the dog images that you downloaded and you can close that texture box window if you would like. And so we are going to have this, right? I have a beagle and go to the image tab, scale image and hype 432 like the other ones and then I'm gonna zoom in a little okay and now we have this so we're gonna go over here and go to the lasso tool that looks like a string in a circle right and then we're gonna go down here in the toolbox and go to feather edges it should be down here somewhere and then we're going to change this to 15. You can usually just type in 15 and then press enter. And then we're just going to do the outline of the dog. Okay? 
Some people like to erase the outsides of the dogs, but I just think that it's way harder and takes longer than it sh you should take when cutting out a dog. This is much easier. You don't really have to be precise. I'm just going around the dog and not putting like millions of dots. I'm just putting some on the basic outside outside lines of the dog. There are lots of steps on making manips. Um, I'm kind of running out of time. So I'll probably just skip the second dog for right now and then finish it later. But I'll show you the other steps that we usually do with all the dog images with this one dog image. So we're cutting out only the dog. So if you come across grass, usually just cut it with it. I mean but only if it's on the dog. If it's not on the dog, leave it out of the cutting, okay? So, I'm keep I'm cutting it out. Right? Kind of hurrying cuz I'm running out of memory on my camera. And so I can get it on dog days. Okay. So, I'm almost done here. You just cut out the dog. Again, always remember to do feather edges, 15. So, and if you don't, it'll look all gross and it'll, looks, it'll look like it's choppy. And we don't want that if you want your manip to look professional. So, um, I did that fast. But um, you right click on the part that you just um, did and then you cut it and then you go to your manip and paste it as a new layer see it's all pretty right now we're going to the scale image right here we did that earlier scale to sorry tool sorry my bad and then scale it down a little so it's not as big as it about that size I like that size very um pretty okay and the move tool is that four arrow thing and you you can move it anywhere right okay now we're gonna go over to the layers and bring it under the texture right okay now we're going to colors tab and we're gonna adjust the coloring on this dog to the way we like it, right? Okay, and then we're going to do the second option again, like we did with the background. We don't do this with the texture because the texture doesn't really mean anything right now. And then once we press OK, and then the fourth option, contrast first, always contrast first, or else you come out with something weird. And then brightness, and then you press OK. I like that, so I'm going to leave it like that. And so, I've shown you how to do the background and change the colors on the background texture, how to change the mode, and then the dog, how to change, cut it out perfectly, not all gross and choppy, and then change the colors and change the size. And usually sometimes you want to flip, flip the dog, so you just use this tool that has two arrows, and a wall right here. It's called the flip tool and you just flip it like that and you can change it to the other side over here if you wanted. Like that. Okay? Now, text tool is the big black A right there and then you just go like this whoop, and then you just type in what the person wanted. Let me go check. They wanted Welcome to Canine Incorporated. So I'm going to copy what they wanted Usually I'm not really responsible if I spelt it wrong because they're the ones who put it on the form, right? So, but this one I'm pretty sure, I usually check sometimes and I'm pretty sure they got it. So I'm going to go over here to the text and I'm going to go over this, go under this black bar and press the one that you um, hover over it and it says centered. And it centers the text for you in the middle of the page. I usually put the box the width of the whole manip. 
so it'll be in the center of it and then usually you can just change the um the size it's usually straightforward um i'm going to change the font font is what the text looks like and i kind of want this so i'm just going to go like this and then i'm going to go look to what colors i wanted red black and white so i'm going to put the text white i mean red my bad and then i'm going to put I'm going to come over here to the layers box. I'm going to go down and pr press this page thing that says create new layer. And I'm going to make sure it's transparency option right here on the last one and press OK. I'm going to move that layer that I just made under the text layer. I'm going to press on the text layer so I'm selecting it and go to the layer tab up here and go down to transparency and alpha to selection okay and then I'm going to go to the select tab at the top and go to grow I always do two or three usually two and then I go to over here see how it's selected right there it's usually se selected the text and go to the layer you just made make sure you're selecting that layer or else it'll be weird and then you select the paintbrush tool and color over the the text and it'll put a little outline around it. That's how you can do with tags and everything else as well. So that's how you do out outline and stuff and now I'm going to show you how to do Credits. Usually credits people are put the whole links and I'm like no I don't really want to do all that work to put all the links. So I usually just go like this. I go bring out a notepad and open the folder that has the different little, or I'm running out of time, little thing, little um, pictures that I used. And then I go minute made by. I put Manip made by Manip or by Manip by and then my um username and then my no ID number 12342 or 11112 and then I go down one second okay I go down enter and I go BG, which stands for background, BG, um, parenthesis, C, parenthesis, and then I put